All right, so recently I've been getting requests to make a new jazz beat tutorial. And I'll be honest, I'm completely new to this. I've been seeing the type beats on YouTube. I've seen a couple tutorials, but I've never actually made one myself. If you haven't heard of it, it's kind of like a futuristic sound with experimental synths, different 808s, electric keys. And to be honest, they kind of remind me of Yeet type beats, especially with the chord progressions I've been hearing. It's obviously a bit different to that, but you'll see what I mean. So right now I'm going to try and cook one up from scratch. But before we get into it, I want to tell you about today's sponsor, Session studio because i think you're gonna love it session studio is a free app for music creators which allows you to keep all of your important song information as soon as it's been created so let's say you've collaborated with another producer or you've just finished a session with an artist in session studio you can keep all of the different audio files the credits the lyrics and even the splits so for example recently i dropped a collab album called love and war with my guy geo and throughout the whole process, we had loads of different download links, email exchanges, chats on different platforms, and I can't lie, the whole thing was a bit messy. If I knew about this app at the time, we could have kept everything in one place. So if you look here, I can easily click on a new song to upload. From here, I can drag in the audio, just give it a name. This is the master, and then upload it. And within this, I could add different versions of that track. I could add the lyrics, the credits, the splits and even give other people access to it and that way nobody's missing out on getting credited and paid if you're ever in a session with an artist all they have to do is scan the qr code and they could add their credits you can even keep all communication within the chat box and once you're ready you can go to releases and release it directly to soundcloud or to the label if you're with one if i did it with my track can't wait no more i could keep the lyrics in here have everyone's credits there and then get the splits ready. But another way you could use this is to keep all of your beats organized. So you could upload your whole catalog and then create playlists or beat packs, which you could then send to artists. They don't even need the app to download the files. You can just generate a link. And then if they use any of the beats, they can add their information. The best part is it's completely free to use and it comes with two gigabytes of storage. But if you use the link in the description, you can get three months of the creator tier completely free. And that comes with 500 gigabytes of storage plus some advanced features. They also run a monthly songwriting competition where all you have to do is submit a song through the app and you can win up to $2,000 worth of cash and prizes. So yeah, I'd highly recommend this one if you want to stay organized. So just click the link in the description and let's get straight into it. All right, let's start off with some kind of electric keys and I've got the BPM at 140. We'll start off with something like this, you can always change it. So yeah, that's the progression I hear a lot, you know. And I'm just going to build chords from here. And I'm building sevenths. Just make those shorter with shift and D. Let's find a better sound. I like these as one sound. Let's take the bass notes and just pitch those down. Maybe something like this and then we could change the chord here maybe let's pitch these up i could copy that and get rid of it here let's try a as well that could work too you know let's try this as well that sounds cool too all right i'm liking the way this sounds just as one layer anyway I'm going to take that and then paste it into some kind of longer keys. We'll just press Ctrl and L to stretch them out. I like this one as well. But that first one just needs some processing, so we need a bit of reverb and delay. Think about that. All right, so I've got the foundation there. Next up, I want to grab a one shot because I want to add some slide notes. So we could go to my Salvis one shot kit. And we'll grab one of the leads. I think this bendable one. Turn everything down, except for the hold. Could give it some release. But yeah, let's try and make some of these slides. But we definitely need some reverb on this one. You'll see where it's going. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? So let's just add a few more. Yeah, so we could add one there. Just randomize that velocity a bit, copy it, and then just change this bit. Mmm, that sounds hard, you know. 
just going to copy everything just to make the pattern a bit longer. And I want to just try a few glitchy things. So I'm going to route them all to the same bus. I uh, will try something like Shaper Box. So yeah, I've just got this Cyber Crunch preset on. And then I've changed the panning preset to this one and brought the mix down. Just adds a bit more texture. All right, I think I want to layer those keys again, but this time with some sort of Rhodes piano, because I think in one section, I want that high energy to just drop into this. So we'll go to electric piano, we'll get something like this. It even sounds nice layered, you know. Mm, like this one, you know. It sounds nice layered with it too. All right, next up, I'm going to add portal. And I really like this first default preset, but I like to bring down the wet level. This gives it a bit of movement. All right, next up, I'm just hearing a one shot, but like triplets. You'll see what I mean. Try a different one. Yeah, that could work. And then we'll get some delay on that as well. Also some reverb, just trying to get it real vibey. And then I think we just repeat that. All right, before I add anything else, I'm hearing a bass sound in my head. So I'm going to try and find what I'm looking for. I know in this beat, I'm going to want a few different basses too. I need some 808s, but I also want some kind of pluck bass. Yeah, something like this, you know. Yeah, so we could just repeat this. And then just move up here. And then we're just going to add some decapitated to that. Just give it some grit. All right, before I add anything else in there, I want to get in some drums. So let's go to my Love and War kit. Next up, we'll go to my Divine Bundle and we could use a hat or even a drill counter snare. Could start off with something like this. Let's just create a bounce. Roll this one down. And then we'll just take these out. Copy this one instead. It's almost like the drill bounce. It's just like the drill bounce. Get some reverb on the clock too. Okay, let's grab an open hat as well. Grab this scratch one as well. All right, I'm gonna mute the bass for now because I wanna get a couple 808s in and I think one's gonna be the CTM, but I'm gonna swap some of the notes for a different one. Let's just do some experimental stuff. We'll grab the CTM and then my Detroit bass too. So what we need to do is make sure they're both set to cut itself, but we'll just make sure they're both on the same number so that way they don't overlap. Let's try this one instead. Let's copy this. Yeah, I'm not going to have a kick all the way through it, but it will work in some parts. I'm going to try something with the clap too. I just want to see what a bit of delay sounds like on it. But I don't want every one to have it. So if I just clone this, and then we'll just have it in the second one. Let's try this. So we'll just go to the wrench tool, set the time to two. Just bring up the feed a bit. Sounds hard, you know. Just add to the vibe. I think the hat pattern might be a bit too drilly, you know. And I'm not even trying to merge this with a drill, so I might switch it up. Yeah, I think that'll be better, you know. Need to step away from the drill patterns once in a while. All right, I've just gone back to the melody because I wanted one more layer for a breakdown section. And I've just found this ARP1 preset. Same pattern, but I want it to play with these keys. I just think it's perfect for the vibe. All right, let's grab some kind of perk as well. Maybe this one. 
I'd want to hear too. Let's try to slow this down a bit, you know. And we'll go back to the open hat. We'll just pan these as well. Yeah, I think that's a better part. All right, I'm just using this adventure snare in my divine bundle, and this is just gonna act like a perk. All right, cool. I think I've got enough drums in there, but I still wanna mess with the melody a bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and split everything, bring everything into the playlist. And I don't know whether I need to change something or just give everything its own space in the arrangement. We'll see how it sounds. It's just too much with everything playing, but yeah, let's copy it out a few times. All right, let's get the lead in there as well. And then we'll transpose those down an octave just to see how it sounds. Yeah, that could work. We'll cut a few things. Mm. This is kind of sick, you know. So we'll just take that and copy it. Now I want the energy to dock here. So I'm going to get rid of these, get rid of the plucks, keep that first bass, see how they sound. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Get rid of the open hats. Mm. And then we could bring the lead in, but down an octave. Then in this part, we could keep that playing, but bring in this bass instead. I'm also going to do is take shaper box and automate it because shaper box is giving it some high energy which i don't want all the way through i had the mix down to about 50 percent, so i'll leave it there but then in this part we could bring it up to about 60. and just because i want to keep the bass interesting all the way through i'm going to make this one unique cut these out and then i'll fill it with the ctm let's repeat that I think we could bring something else in here, like the flux. That sounds kind of hard, just how it transitions there. So yeah, maybe I could just take that and copy it over. All right, last thing I'm adding is just this other house bass sound. All right, man, so I think I've finished the beat and I don't really know exactly what style I've created here. It's got some house elements, some new jazz and some trap elements, I guess. So yeah, let's just have a listen and see what you think. So yeah, just started with everything down an octave. That's how I wanted to keep it interesting. It's loads of different bases. So yeah, let me know in the comments what style of new jazz this is, if I even got it right. I know there's more chilled out versions, more jazzy versions, but I wanted to mix it up. Yeah, I hope you all like this one. If you want to see more videos like this, like a yeet tutorial, then click up here. Or if you want to watch standard drill tutorials like dark pianos, click up here.